So it looks like the police are now speaking on the matter of Michael Stauffer and Huxley and they reveal what really happened. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe for hourly and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram and let's get into this video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that button and let's go. It's a fresh brand new day and there is a lot of stuff going on. So let's just get straight into it. The real reason YouTuber Michael Stauffer and her husband James rehomed their adopted autistic son has now been revealed by the police. The couple caused uproar last month when they revealed they were finding a new home for their four-year-old son Huxley. They were met with severe backlash from furious fans who slammed them for giving up on the young boy. But it's now said that the couple couldn't take care of him anymore because he had shown aggression towards their other children. Police investigated the string of welfare checks requests after Mike and James, who adopted Huxley from China three years ago, announced they had rehomed him with another family. It claimed that the couple had filmed Huxley's aggressive behavior and had gathered documentation from multiple therapists, but they, that they had ultimately decided it was an intolerable situation to continue. The couple also said that they had to hire a very expensive full-time caretaker in order to ensure that Huxley and their other children were safe. I find this, you know, this is the real reason now. This is why they had to rehome their child because, um, well, it's not even their child, they adopted this child and clearly they didn't treat like their own child. They obviously just re-gifted it to somebody else, like some toy. But I just feel like just because your child is too aggressive, yes, easier said than done, but you wouldn't have rehomed this child if they was an actual child of your own that you birthed. You wouldn't have rehomed them. Do you know what I mean? So when you adopt somebody into your family as a young child, you adopt them as if they are your own, as if you did give birth to them. That is how you should treat them. Because if this was somebody that you had birthed, you would not have rehomed them for being aggressive. You would have continued to do the, the pay for the therapist, continue to care for them, and as they grow older, you would just hope that they would change, or you know, you knew that this person, this young child, sorry, was autistic as it is. So this idea, I find it confusing. Some people said um, in one of my videos ages ago about Microsoft, um, don't show pictures of Huxley, don't share the pictures. You know, people don't, people already know what Huxley looks like. If you guys don't know about the situation I'm talking about, what are you doing? She used Huxley all over online to get to this place. So everybody knows what Huxley looks like. So that in itself makes no sense to me. But coming back to the story. This idea that you know hiring a very expensive full-time caretaker was something that was so intolerable for them, something so hard for them. But it, you know when they're out here buying up expensive jewelry left, right, and center, it doesn't matter if you need to hire an expensive caretaker. That is your child. Why should that be seen as a issue? Why should that be seen as something that is you know, like you know that is your child? If you have the facilities and the money to take care of your child, then you wouldn't feel any way, and you would continue to do so. Surely you would want to spend more money on a full-time caretaker to look after your children than the new jewellery coming out. Or you going to Bali by claiming that you were upset. Do you know what I mean? But the police have officially declared that that is the reason why they wanted to rehome their child because he was just too hard to handle. He was too aggressive at times. They feared for the other children. You know, do you know what I mean? Like, so then why would you even adopt a child in the first place knowing that this child was autistic as it is? It doesn't make any sense to me, but this is the real reason and the police have kind of just come out and exposed. On Tuesdays, investigators confirmed that the couple would not face any charges after they determined Huxley was not being abused and that this re-adoption was illegal. He said to be thriving with his new family. Deputy Susanna Leonard said, as far as the talk of possible human trafficking against Huxley, it was determined that the process of his adoption is being conducted legally. So there's no trafficking going on here. Um, there's no charges being faced and the re-adoption re was completely legal, but it's not morality does not equate to legality. And I want to, let me just I'll say that again for you guys morality does not equate to legality just because something is happening legally and absolutely fine doesn't mean that it's morally correct and I'm so sorry but if you are going to adopt a child and you use that child for social media wealth and gain which is what you did and clout then you suddenly want to push them away because they became too aggressive or intolerable to hard yes it's easier said than done but it's not it, it, it's not like a quick fix is like okay you're too much for me bye that in itself to me just comes up too sinister I'm so sorry because if that was your own child that you actually physically birthed you would not have come to to that same conclusion point blank period let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this subscribe to the channel let me know what your thoughts are this has just been announced and i'll catch you guys soon for another video